a nail biting final and a surprise final just at that. So come on in here, follow me onto the dance floor. We're gonna chat to Lottie and Pasquale, the winners of Dancing with the Stars 2020. Okay, it is wires, it is cameras, it is chaos. Here we are. Okay, come on, follow me guys. Now we're gonna try not to slip here on the stuff. It's all go here. It's all go here, Jen! Woo! I try not to slip. Sloshy! Sloshy! Hello! We're trying not to fall here either. Sloshy, can I grab you? Well done, Sloshy! Ryan and Pasquale, well done! Well, what can you say to me, Sloshy? I just... <laughs> I'm in a state of shock, completely. I, I have no... Like, I'm just going to say, for somebody who has been obsessed with this show for four years, if you had told me when this show first started that one day I could, if I put the work in, stand here with this, I never would have believed you, and it was all because of him. I couldn't have done this without you. Like You've you. been uh, absolutely a dream. I, I don't have words, guys. Like, <laughs> I was such a state of this shock. This never what happens. lost for words. This never <laughs> happens. You should see him in rehearsal. This never happens. I mean, guys, when you were standing there, oh, I love it. We're getting hair fixed as we speak. <laughs> oh, hey, Carol Ann. Lashie, when you were standing there yeah. and you were waiting to hear who was going to win, did you think you were going to do it? No, actually, because. I just think the standard this year has been unbelievable, mm -hmm. which has been said so many times by the judges. It's, it's the strongest year. And I feel like this final was full of incredible choreography, amazing routines. Everybody poured their hearts into their performances tonight. So I, I really didn't know what way it was going to go. Caroline is actually sticking it's, a pin in, in my brain right now, at the yes. moment. <laughs> but it's all for the glitter and the dancing. Yeah. Uh, Pasquale, when you met Lottie, Back all those months ago, did you know then that she had what it took to become a winner? Okay, I tell you something, which is actually a little secret, not a secret, but when oh. we met all celebrities, yeah, and I didn't know who was my partner, the only person that I said hi and we started to speak a little bit more that, that night it was Lottie. Yeah. And I looked at her and I was like, I like her, but I don't think I'm gonna get her because she's too short for me. Oh. <laughs> well, it's amazing what a heel can so, do. So yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> So that's and the thing. Actually, when you look back over this incredible journey, I mean, it'll be so hard for you to even try and answer this, but is there a standout moment, a standout dance that you just adored? Oh, Dora. Ah. I think I, yeah. uh, this series for me, Dora, The Fringe, Carol Ann looked yes, after. Yes. Um, Dora was an absolute standout moment because that was when I discovered my love of lifts. Well, oh, yes, um, and we, we love a lift And here. that's when we really pushed ourselves that week and we realized what we could do as a team I think so yeah. that for me was an absolute standout moment yeah right. and uh, Pascal I mean it's just it's an incredible journey to go on you, you, you won where, where did you been before Belgium Belgium now you not mentioned that before just once or twice <laughs> you came here your first year you conquered it I mean you must be so proud of yourself as well yeah, I mean, it's it's been the last six months of my life. It's mm. been just an amazing journey. Like I learned so much from all the artists, dancers, celebrities, all the people that have been working behind the scenes. Like it's been amazing for me, and I've been very lucky to obviously uh, to share this experience, obviously with her as well, which was amazing. Amazing, Lashi. Before I let you go to take five thousand pictures, Kieran's patiently waiting. Lashi, if you could sum up, or come on, get your picture. Go for it. Go yours, Lashi. If you could sum up your experience on Dancing with the Stars in a few words, what would you say? Oh, life-changing. Right. Because genuinely, I don't know, I've said this a few times today, I don't know how I can't have this in my life now. Um, I've surprised myself at how much I've fallen in love with it, so that was actually life-changing for right. me. And yeah, this is gonna change me now. So well, yeah, it's been oh, an incredible journey. We're all gonna start crying now. <laughs> Lottie and Pasquale, your winners of Dancing with the Stars 2020. Well done! Amazing, okay. Let us have a wander around here. Oh, lads. Well, where do we begin? First of all, the most attractive pairing we've ever had on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Go on, you guys, now. Oh, what, a, what a journey you've been on, Oh my God. I honestly don't know how to explain. It's been so surreal. It's been amazing. I've never laughed so much in my life. I've met one of the nicest people ever. He's just, oh, I don't even know how to describe him. I'm just, I'm on such a high, like, I'm just so happy. And Lottie and Pasquale are two of the most hardworking people I've ever come across. So I am 
over the minute for them. And Kai, we said it already tonight, it's been extremely difficult. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a sudden final, no audience. It was mm. thrown at Granny today <laughs> at lunchtime. <laughs> she has herself so proud. Ah, uh, like, I could not be more proud, especially in the circumstances that were thrown at us today. Like, we danced a beautiful foxtrot. She's a boring girl at heart. <laughs> and then we, on top of that, we finished the show and closed the show. Closed with the show. Wicked Charles, they got 310. So. You were the last dance of I Dancing know. with the Stars 2020. Crazy. Crazy. Like, oh, it's going to be so sad now when it's all over. Like, I don't want it to end. It's, it's just been... Um, I don't know how to describe it. I, I just can't. It's you're, been amazing. Your last words, Granny. And Granny, you know, when you started all this, I remember back in November we did our first interviews. Yes. You were like, here, I can't dance. You know, and you, and you were so adamant that you couldn't do it. When did it start to change for you? When did you realise, you know what, I'm able for this? I don't know if I was like, I'm able for this. I think I was like, Kai's a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it was more in my head. But I mean, you know what, I think that it does show people that you put your mind to it. Like, I mean, I'd never done anything like this before in my life, never danced before, and it was just something that I had to really work hard at. Obviously, having an amazing teacher that was very patient with me <laughs> helped. So, you know, it's it's very surreal to look back and think of all of the performances that we've done so far. And Kai, do you think it's so important that the relationship that you built with Grania, I mean, it got you very far because you're great pals. A hundred percent. Like, I, I, as I've said to every one of my partners, I want them to enjoy this experience because they're only going to get to do it once. And I think the journey with, that we had together was very significant and very kind of pure. And it was always about the dancing and, and her enjoying it. So, you know, we had tough weeks, but the majority was a lot of fun. We did Dirty Dancing, which is one of your favorite films. Yeah. Unstoppable, the contemporary ballroom. Yeah. And then to finish on a high with the Charleston, like, I, I'm just so proud and I, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. So I'm oh, very, very proud. They're very, brilliant. Very proud. And can I just say, Grania, you will always be my Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh. Do you know, I, I, in, in times of need in this world, Wonder Woman go we'll in there and get the band on, will you? And get the cuffs and get, get in there. <laughs> Guys, these have been the dream. An amazing Thank pairing. You're going to keep dancing? Much. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you might leave that. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask in a week. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to that one. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Guys, thank you so much. Thank They're you, amazing. Thank Legends of the Thank you, James. Thank a little wander around here. Ryan and Julia. Guys, oh, what a uh, phenomenal woo. night. Yes. What a phenomenal Man. journey. Julia, yeah. this gentleman. Oh, I have no words to describe him because he, honestly, someone that can cope with the amount of work that I've been putting him through it and he never really complained. It's been incredible. I couldn't have asked for a better partner, honestly. Ryan, it goes to saying you are a huge fan of this show yes. and performing in general. Yep. To get here and to make ah. it to the final, you must be beyond preps. It's like, that's dreams are like what are made of, like, you know. So like yeah, to, it was all about making that final. We made it here. We went out with a bang. Every week we gave a great performance. We never let ourselves down. We pushed so hard every single week. So to be here is yeah. Look, I'm very proud. I'm quite content. And yeah. the four people, well, the three others, 100% deserved to be here. No one deserved to go home. No. And Julia. Thank you so much for everything. I wouldn't be here without you. You know that. So you know how much you mean to me. So thank you. I mean, Julia, it must have been great crack to go into work every day and have this man by your side who put so much work in, but also it's just a great joy to have around. He is like, he's so happy. Like, he's just a happy, the happiest person yeah. I've ever met. Like, so positive. And uh, we had our up and downs, but mainly being just a high for me and just the, the best mm. experience that I have had, so I didn't really want it to end it tonight, but mm. unfortunately. I mean, and yeah. in such extraordinary circumstances, I mean, all of the finalists, and Ryan as well, they proved themselves to be phenomenal. Oh. It, it was it was just mad. It take. was tough now, you know, because like you're coming in, getting geared up for a semi-final, and obviously you put the work in to make it to the final, but mm. they turn around and say, right, guys, this is the final, that's it, and then mm. you go, well, I didn't really want to do the samba, what about the showdown? You know, you have all these thoughts in your head, and but you know, you go out there, we left everything on that floor and now we can leave with our heads held high and we just thank you so much for all the support and the comments that you know the public have given because that has made our journey that little bit better yeah. totally and ryan i mean you, you, you've been on such a journey yourself yeah and you've really overcome so much in the show with your scolios yeah with everything that you've been through i mean you're inspiring a lot of young people out there how does that make you feel yeah that's quite it's quite special you know i genuinely i wasn't never even going to talk about my, my scoliosis and my kyphosis uh it was something that i wanted to keep in but i never talked about it before so they said look do it so when i talked about it i thought for some reason it was going to get negative i thought people were going to say he's using that as an excuse mm. and it's just been like floods of uh, young girls and guys kids 
going up and looking at me. They sit in watching every Sunday to see what Ryan does. Wow. You know, so you know that it's really special, and you know. And I'm going to ask you both. Maybe it's you've had the same answer. Out of all the amazing dances that you've done, and there have been quite a few. Yeah. What is your favourite dance that you've done with Ryan and Julia? Well, it's all of them really, yeah. but like I'd say, the contemporary ballroom was pretty oh, special yeah. with the orchestra and the Charleston. Amazing. But I yeah. think that them two were, yeah. Ryan, special. for you? Yeah. I think I had to go back to that rumba. Oh. You know, it was like the most vulnerable I've ever been. I cried all week and it was telling my story about my scoliosis and the journey I've been on. So that's when my journey started yeah. on Dance with the Stars. Well, guys, what a journey it's been. They are legends. On screen and off screen, guys. These are brilliant. Thank you Amazing. so much, well for everything. Thank you. Our final couple. Oh, Aiden, Aiden, please don't leave me like this. Left alone on the dance floor. Aiden, come on down and Emily. Again, you're, you're right. Look at that. It lasts for a second already. I don't blame you. I'll have one after it. Aiden and Emily, you have been outstanding. Aiden, how are you feeling right now? Um, it's hard to describe. It's just. Um, I'm happy, I'm just happy I think, yeah, mm. i just delighted I got to the final, I think I'm just looking back on all, everything I've done and how I just didn't think I'd be able to do it and I did do it. Yeah. I mean Emily, Aidan has been on a phenomenal journey, do you think he's a different man now to the man you first met? No. I think so, <laughs> no. I don't know, this man is so hard working, he is just, he's been an inspiration every single day, there's days where I've come in and I've been in an awful mood and you've picked me up and there's days where you've come in and you've yeah. been a little bit lower, <laughs> I think we've just worked together so well as a team and do you know what, it's just been so much fun, there's actually petals on the floor from my contemporary ballroom, I can oh, see them, oh yes, amazing, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, it was just an amazing experience for me to work with somebody so hard working but so calm and relaxed every single day. He's never... On the outside. We've, we've never oh, an, yes. We've never had an argument. He's so chilled out. You're just, yeah, amazing. I'm delighted. Aiden, when, when we first chatted to you back, I think it was November, you were saying, what have I gotten myself in for? <laughs> no, this? Yeah. I've sequence where there shouldn't be sequence. But you've totally embraced it. And do you think that was an important part of the journey? It as definitely well? was, yeah. Um, just throw myself into it. The fake tan, the claws. The no clothes, whatever it was, it was just, I uh, had to go for it. And even with the dancing, Emily was removed, she was saying lifts and this, that, and the other. And I said, Right, sure, look, I'll just go for it. And that was it. Speaking of lifts, Emily, yes. how much insurance did you have to take out tonight for that lift with Aiden and Laura? It was outstanding. <laughs> that lift was mad. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> what did you think when she told you that this lift was going to happen? She, she I didn't really tell him. Okay. I just, didn't tell I just she, did it. She showed me the video and said, Right, this is what we're doing. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> and that is my response. I just go, okay. But well, we did have a few issues yeah. with it, didn't we? So the first issue was he couldn't get Laura over his shoulder. So he kind of just went, boom, she sat on his oh, head there. The second, the second problem was we were on and we were spinning around. And then as Laura comes to get off, I fell off you. She came up too quick. So I went like that. You fell off and ran away. <laughs> and Laura nearly came over and hit the mirror. It, right. It's been a disaster, but so we, we pulled it off it, on the It night. was lucky that so I, I made it to the final. Yeah. <laughs> I know everyone's at home going, look at that lucky man, and I'm like going, oh my God, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, guys, these have just been amazing. Yeah. And Aiden, as hard as it may be, if you could try and sum up how Dancing with the Stars has been for you. Oh, an emotional roller coaster. Um, belly laughed, nearly cried, but didn't cry. Uh, met the best of friends. Met super people, met Emily, just an unreal pro, uh, the best dancer I think in the show, but uh, I might be biased. And uh, yeah, just met great friends and just totally out of my comfort zone and the best thing I've ever done. Oh, well look, that sums it up. Emily, you must be so proud of Aiden. So proud. Like I just, even to get you here to the final, it's just the biggest achievement ever. Like, and the biggest struggle. And the biggest struggle. <laughs> but if you could see what we go through on like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like we really do, like everything's so broken down and yeah, we used to look back at the videos on the Monday and just see my technique and then look at the Sunday night and go, what the hell, how did I do that? Yeah. Oh, well, lads, you did it yeah. and you made it Thank to the so final. Much. Aiden and Emily, well done. Thank Thank you. You Congratulations. So now, have that Prosecco. It is well, well deserved. Thank so, you. there we have it, guys and girls. That is it from Dancing with the Stars 2020. Lottie and Pasquale are our fabulous winners. It's been an amazing show. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next year for even more glitz and glam. We can't wait.